So the gun of choice for today is of course the FX Impact M3. Uh, it's brand new so it's a gun I want to test out and I've also got some interesting little parts on here that I'll share later in the video. And we're going to shoot 34 grain javelins out of it so it should be fun. Zeroing the gun yesterday. Fly came and sat down, I don't know if you can see that. Blood spatter. This gun is super accurate. Morning, here's the snacks. Stuff. Okay, we're on our way. It's exactly eight o'clock now. Maggie just came back from dropping the kids at school. So we've got about four or five hours till we need to be back. So yeah, I'm gonna rush out there and get it done. We just arrived on the farm. So now we're just gonna drive around quickly and see where all the activity is. Okay, so now that we have our spot, we're just going to set up the gun and get everything ready. And there is the Impact M3. So we've got some Sabre tactical stuff on here. I actually love this uh, monopod. It just slides in. It's magnetic. So you can easily store it in your case and you just do that and it's on. Super awesome. With the Acutec bipod on there as well. Just like that, and you're done. All set. So I've got 34 grain dot 218 Patriot javelin slugs set up out of this gun, and they're slinging them at a thousand feet per second, pretty fast. And the gun can easily handle it. I mean, it can shoot 40 grain slugs at 960 feet per second. So 34 grains is nothing for this gun. Now this is my special cover that you saw in the previous video, this one. Uh, it's not necessary for the 34 grains, but I just left it on there and then just got a normal cover on this magazine. Um, all this cover is, it's got a deeper cavity, so you can, a deeper cavity over here, so you can fit that extra long 40 grain slugs into the magazine. Now FX is working on bringing out a cover for slugs like this, so it should be hopefully available soon. So next we have to install the scope cam as well. So I like to put the scope on 20X or especially this Titan because it just works well with the camera on that setting. And then I bring out the ocular focus or just the slightly a little bit as well. And yeah, these just slide on. Just like that. And just tighten it down. And that's it. pretty much zero so I'm just going to leave it right there. Yes! <laughs> that was 79 meters. Yes, <laughs> tickets. be a double. Yeah, I think that's a double, I hope so. One went down solid. <laughs> One. <laughs> What's the range there on the turret? 100 and I think it's 86. Let's just check there. Yeah, 186. <laughs> Yes! 
course. Okay, that one is dead for sure at 188 meters. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> That's two. <laughs> oh, awesome. But now they're gone. <laughs> Right in, 250 meters. Awesome. <laughs> so here's to cheers. Yeah, cheers on those. I oh, like that the pigeons uh, decided to come sit down on the on the decommissioned wires, so these wires aren't live anymore. And yeah, those are two or three or four awesome shots. I can't even remember now. It's very really cool. So I'm very proud of Maggie as well. Her new record, like 203 yards, 186 meters. Yeah, that's well done. I'm proud. Awesome. <laughs> so if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen this little thing um, on my barrel. This is just me experimenting a little bit. Um, reason being the, I really love the Donny FL Ronin. But it's a pretty heavy silencer and you get quite a bit of barrel droop with it. Not that it's a huge issue, but I just find using this little spacer or, or barrel band um, just levels my barrel for myself and then I don't need to adjust anything on the adjustable rings over here as well. Because I've found that even with the 20 MOA building on here, with the silencer on there, I still had to lift my, my rings a little bit to get optical zero on the scope. Now with this here, I don't have to. And the added bonus is it actually stiffened up my barrel as well and it's giving me better accuracy. And I can somehow, somewhat, adjust this back and forward and uh, adjust my harmonic tune as well a little bit. It's not super accurate to do it that way, but it's just like a little added bonus as well. So I'll include this uh, STL file down in the description for you guys as well. meters it was like awesome <laughs> got him 107 meters He's down 83 meters. Yes, 62 meters. Borst to it. Right in the off switch, that down it on 75 meters. <laughs> off switch, that was uh, 76 meters. on the wire. There we go. 132 meters straight on. <laughs> Super date, 70 meters. Oh, 
Sound goes a stalling 85 meters. <laughs> Well, that is it. We are out of time. We need to get back. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button and remember to subscribe. It would really help us out. Then we will see you next time. Cheers.